Welcome back to my final morning report analysis video on Monday 16th of April. With me, which is Paramarket Analyst at Hansit Marks, let's look at gold, which has been trading again around the news flow uh, in the last few days. Syria, um, uh, certainly uh, the escalation of um, war of words in the middle of last week pulled the market higher back towards 1366, complete unwind as that sort of wound down a little, little bit. But um, it's interesting that the market hasn't really taken on any traction whatsoever really from this morning um following on from the bombing sources that we saw at the weekend uh, over syria so it's it's interesting that the um market's not really taken on too much um of upside there is a slightly positive bias and that just comes from the fact that the rsi is sort of above 50 the macd lines again above neutral trading above all the moving averages but pretty much within um all the bounds of this um of this uh, medium term trading range remaining intact um and every time once again every time 1356 to 1366 every time you get within that 10 dollar band the market sort of fails doesn't it um so today's high 1340 uh, 1349 and the market sort of rolled over a touch so initially that's the resistance but realistically anything above 1356 seems to be sort of struggling um within this medium term range and i think that's going to be the case unless this um situation or the geopolitical situation in surrounding syria with russia involved with iran involved in the us um unless that really does escalate enormously i don't think you're going to get too much sort of um imminent breakout to the upside i think that would be the driver of an imminent breakout to, of, a, of a breakout to the upside but nothing necessarily that looks imminent at the moment um although there is a slightly positive bias that we've got on gold um but uh, nothing too decisive yet um here we see the alley chart again giving you nothing really um other than maybe the slightest of positive biases but uh yeah so uh, we've just rolled over a touch today and it'd be interesting to see if we can start to build support again. Um, but yeah, the uh, the low that we saw on Friday obviously is the key low near term, 1333.50. That is well above the 1321 area. So um, yeah, we are looking um, with a positive bias, but yeah, nothing decisively suggesting a technical breakout quite yet. So uh, within uh, that, I wish you good luck in your trading today, and I'll speak to you again tomorrow.